welcome to my online conversation platform, a space where you can share visions from our journey to explore the vast landscape of ideas shaping our shared future. On this platform, we exchange insights and visions for a better world. More importantly, it serves as a space to embark on a quest for innovative ideas that may be beyond our current limited perspective. I have passed the 50 year marker on my journey and only now do I feel ready to have open and meaningful conversations with anyone I meet on my journey. Fortunately, new technology allows this ephemeral engagement with other valuable souls to be achieved. Just like a thriving civilization depends on a rich ecosystem of trust, our future relies on the interconnectedness of civility, safety, culture, knowledge, faith, and commerce. We all know the dire consequences when this ecosystem falters. Images of apocalyptic landscapes from stories and films come to mind. But instead of preparing for such a grim future, let us focus on planting seeds of trust. Trust that is deep-rooted and worthy of a modern civilization. It's time to acknowledge the fires of distrust that have ravaged our communities and start nurturing the seeds of trust, embodying grace and righteousness. Perhaps it's because we lack the life-giving gene of Christ's redemption in our expectations of trust. Being loved and redeemed by God is the true foundation of trustworthiness. Christ is the divine source of trust that has sustained any civilization as a garden of God's kingdom, and all people are invited to discover this true source of trust. Matthew 13, verse 31 and 32, from the NIV translation, he, Christ, told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds come and perch in its branches. All are welcome because we know what is said in the third letter of St. John 1 verse 11, also from the NIV translation. Dear friend, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. Anyone who does what is good is from God. Anyone who does what is evil has not seen God.